These stories are inspired by the actual case files of the Office of Scientific Investigation and Research. Thank you, everyone. I must say it was very kind of you to come all this way. Well, it sounded important. I really appreciate this favor, Lindsay. So why the big mystery, Professor? Oh, you haven't called me that in years. I guess I feel nostalgic here. This is it. What have you got? Here we are. Oh. How about butchers of this, right? Oh. It's Celtic? Yes, more than likely 12th century, very good. But why are the uh, corners ornamented with 5th century design? Exactly. Yeah. Well, you see, this is just a Cracker Jack box. Wait until you see the prize. <sighs> Magnificent. It looks like the Shroud of Turin. Only much better. Those who fail to learn from the past are doomed to repeat it. But what happens when fragments of yesterday intrude on the present? Consider OSIR case file 340872. On the Welsh coast, a group of archaeologists uncovered an obscure burial site. Within the ancient coffin lay a silver dagger and a winding cloth, but no human remains. During the investigation of this Celtic shroud, the OSIR team discovered that evil easily transcends the boundaries of time. Case managers report. Prager recording. The University of London has requested our help in studying an ancient death shroud that bears a disturbing similarity to the Shroud of Turin. Should have grabbed the map somewhere over Greenland. Uh, we were talking about the possibility of a hoax, right? Well, I've excavated sites from Africa to South America, and I should know if something's been seeded or not. Understood, Dr. Beecham, but uh, we're trying to cover all the angles yes, here. Of course, of course. But you see, now, Lindsay has been quite impressed so far, haven't you? Yeah, this is a fake. I don't know how it was done. There you are. Well, uh, let's see where the facts take us, okay? I see. Now, you're the type that likes to hold his bet until all the cards are played. Is that so? <laughs> now, Lindsay only works with the very best, so... 
Oh, I'm sure she went right to the head of her class. Yeah, she was a very gifted student. What's your take on this so far, Pete? Well, the uh, purity of the steel on the cross is in line with the alleged period of origin. Alleged? No, 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 no. This, this here is, this is the real deal. Yeah, now, kids, any more fighting and the field trip's canceled. What's so unusual? When the Romans invaded Britain, the Celts abandoned their pagan rituals. No coffin has elements of both pagan and Christian. This is something we have never seen before. So two months ago in the north of Wales, Kathy turned a marker with a uh, Celtic symbol on it. It turned out to be the serpent's egg. Isn't that some kind of druidic symbol? That's right. It's associated with Mithanwi, isn't it, Russell? Yes. So with that final piece of the puzzle, of course, years of research fell into place. What's this, uh, Mithanwi? Oh, no, it's not a what, it's a who. He was a legendary magician in Celtic lore whose father was the guardian of the underworld. Well, could this be the same guy? Well, Mithanwi actually lived and died a thousand years before this chap. He could be one of his descendants. But with your permission, I would like to call in Malachi Riley, who is a foremost expert in this field. Okay by me, as long as he checks out. I'll have Ray run a security check on him. It's okay. His, his, his credentials are impeccable. Right. So what's the deal with laughing, boy? Well, uh, cloth itself is made of linen. As for the lifelike image, the bloodstains, uh, I mean, obviously, it's begging to be compared with the Shroud of Turin. Which has never been authenticated. No, it is proved. The Vatican has spent centuries studying that Shroud. In fact, they have a team of scientists devoted to it. Yeah, including some of our people. Uh, those bloodstains, are they for real? Type A positive. DNA tests confirm that they come from a human male. And uh, I'm going to need a sample of that cloth to run some tests, Doctor. <laughs> the question. Dr. Beecham. No, this is an ancient relic. I'm not going to snip it up. Uh, doctor, uh, an accelerated mass spectrometry scan is far more accurate than any radiocarbon dating. I mean, all I'll need is a fragment from the corner. Honestly. I won't touch the image, I promise. Russell, you did ask us here to help. So do I. Very well. What's the pattern on the medallion? Not sure. The image is not that successful. I can't really read it. Well, it looks like a photo negative. Uh, can we tune in a little bit of reception? Uh, I'll try reversing the color spectrum. Good God. What? It's this medallion. I have seen it before. Key. I can't. Oh. Do you remember that uh, lecture I gave on Ludak, the Duke of Hearts? Oh, yeah, the Beach Boys hit. He yeah, used to dance to it in high school. No, 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 not unless you were in the class of 1307. Wasn't he the, the tyrant who enslaved his workers? Yes, that was him. Oh, this book. Look at this. Dates back to the Middle Ages. Every illustration hand-painted, every word lettered by scribes. But the medallion is identical. You're right. It is. What's with the open heart surgery? Well, he had this nasty habit of uh, dealing with his enemies by cutting out their hearts, and then he would eat them. I thought my boss was harsh. Uh, what happened to him again? He was the one that was overthrown by his own service, and this was very rare in those days. Now, their face. Does that look familiar to you as well? AMS dates the cloth at over 700 years old. You'd think they prepare the body for burial, clean it up. The amount of blood indicates multiple stab wounds. Someone impaled him after he was bound for burial. My goodness. They really wanted to send the bugger straight to hell, didn't they? Malachi Riley. He must be Mr. Axon and Dr. Hendricks, then. <laughs> you Mr. Prager said you were expecting me. Uh, I'm sorry, but uh, he didn't mention... That... that I'm Irish. 
Or that I'm a priest. Don't let either one trouble you. It doesn't me. <laughs> I see I'm not the only man of the cloth here today. You know, I saw the Holy Shroud in Turin last spring. How does this compare? All too similar. You lads have your work cut out for you. The study of the Holy Shroud is a science unto itself. Syndonology. So you've heard all the theories then. Da Vinci painted it, medieval monks concocted it. A primitive photographic attempt, perhaps. Do you see the Shroud of Turin as a miracle, Father? <laughs> In my world, the unexplainable is a miracle. That's enough for me. So what's all this, then? What we're doing is digitizing the image. Uh, when we're through, we'll have a three-dimensional perspective of the body. Hmm, brilliant. Let the man speak for himself. This jumble of Christian and pagan symbolism, it just doesn't make any sense. No, you know, it reminds me of a certain student I had that did her research for the essay from Monty Python and the Holy Grail. That's it. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> That's the laugh we have heard since the Nile. That was good. <laughs> you two are going to start recalling the moonlight on the Nile. Perhaps you should go out for a breath of fresh air. Sorry. I think we've been dismissed. <laughs> we'll see you later. Tyrone. Honestly, Russell. Honestly. Honestly, I would have thought that you would have a wife and, and kids by now. Oh, stop that. No, I can't stand the idea of domestication. <laughs> I was talking about you having a family, not having a neuter. Can I help it if women find me so stimulating? Oh, please. <laughs> so what about Kathy? Well, she was assigned to me my last semester at Oriel College, and before long she was grading student papers and then having me edit my lectures. Mm -hmm. And picking out your ties and making your eggs florentine. I know the drill. No, no, don't underestimate Kathy. Without her, I never would have found that priest. And Lindsay. This is everything I've ever looked for. This could be the one. You mean Kathy or the child? Well, both in a strange way. When I publish my findings, I'll, I'll be in the textbooks. I won't just be merely teaching from them. And this could be my holy grail, don't you see? I would really like to be a part of that. You already are. There he is, in all his glory. If you can call it glory. What's the matter, Father? Mr. Axon, do you believe in evil? Oh, Father, I... Philosophically speaking, I'm not trying to convert you here. Okay, uh... Evil, to me, is just a label we put on things too horrible to understand. I mean, people have free will. You know, we all make our own choices, good and bad. Hmm. A reasonable assessment. <laughs> Personally, I see evil like the tides of the sea. The strong can resist the undertow, the weak cannot. So, uh, what about this one, then? Did men like him make the Middle Ages a black page in history, or was he only a product of his time? Touché, Doctor. But if evil had a face, it would look a lot like that. You may be on the right track, Father. Beecham's not a master. This guy would make Charlie Manson look like Charlie Brown. Oh, anyone want to lift back to the cheapest hotel in London? Bed bugs and breakfast? <laughs> you can't call tonight till I treat you to a Guinness. I insist. Ah, uh, I have some notes to catch up on. Another night, perhaps. Have it your way, Doctor. As for the likes of you, I shan't take no for an answer. Ah, uh, Father, go. please. I'm, I'm three time zones out of whack. <laughs> yeah. uh, no, 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 me too. I, I, I don't drink on the job, especially now with the boss around, you know? My boss is more forgiving. <laughs> <laughs>
doctor to look at that? The doctor already has me. I'm fine. Didn't see a thing. I wish I could be more help, uh, Detective. Inspector, uh, can you recall anything else? Uh, well, they, they must have been after the shroud. Why else walk away from a room full of valuable electronics? Do you have a photograph of the shroud? Yeah, I can get it to you. Much appreciated. Do you have any idea who would want it so badly, then? Private collector? Indiana Jones, you tell me. We'll make some inquiries, sir. Good thing you're so hard-headed. <laughs> <laughs> Matt, when you looked at that shroud, did you get a... a feeling? Uh, what are you saying? The shroud has some special power? I can't help thinking what Father Riley said about evil being like a tide, an undertow. But this is terrible. Do you honestly believe that a pagan cult stole this shroud? It's a place to start, Russell. The, the illustration features druidic priests, right? Yes. Yeah, but you said the Romans banished the druids a thousand years ago. Now, which is it? Well, they didn't disappear. They just went underground. Modern-day witchcraft, Wicca, is based on druidic principles. She's just like this as a student as well. Always going out in a limb. Don't patronize me. I'm not patronizing you. What kind of wood was that coffin made from? Black oak. Which the druids believe to have magical properties, and they are the only ones who would make a coffin from something as valuable as black oak. Had enough, Doc, or you want to go for the lightning round? No, 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 no. Point taken. Let's move on, please. Now, there are over 60 Wicca-related shops and organizations in London. 60? 60. Wicca warehouse. Kissing covens? Uh, can't we just let our fingers do the walking? I already did. She already did. Yeah. Number 34. Mabinogian books, specializing in occult supplies. Well, while you're doing your witch hunt, I shall go back to work. Some of us do have jobs. We do have responsibilities. Keep the change. Cheers, man. Oh, my back. Uh. You'll live. Think I gave him too big a tip? Can I help you? Oh, uh, yes. Um, my husband and I, we're new to London, and... We understand that you specialize well in books relating to, to Wicca. Um, you know, pagan rites, that sort of thing. Of course. Mind you, we cater to a serious clientele. For more general interest, there are a number of bookshops along the Charing Cross Road. I could suggest a few if you like. But they're not likely to carry something like the, uh, the Black Book of Carmarden now, are they? <laughs> you see, my husband and I, we are, we are very seriously considering something new. Yeah, uh, we don't have this sort of thing back home in Lethbridge. Uh, their idea of a fertility rite is spreading manure. <laughs> 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 We've made real progress in mainstreaming our beliefs. Our ultimate aim is to be accepted as a revival of a pre-Christian oneness with the gods and goddesses of the elements. Right. Don't confuse Satanism with paganism. We're part of the neo-pagan movement, proud of whom and what we are. Kind of like a out of the broom closet, huh? <laughs> <laughs> well, like anything else, you should be well informed before you make a serious commitment. Uh, of course. Oh, come, tell me. Tell me what we need to get started. Um, what do we need? We need incense, we need candles. What do we... Oh, uh, crystals. I don't know if it's all that's sticks, necessary. Ceremonial really. robes, a, a book of chants. Oh, this is so great. Arr. It's almost complete. What? Any progress on how it was created? Well, I can tell you what it's not. It's not photographic because we found no traces of silver or chromium in the fibers we tested, and there was no signs of paint or pigment either. What was it made of? Well, I'd be guessing, but uh, it's possible that there was some kind of a reaction between something organic and the cloth itself. 
And that would be after burial. Well, how is that possible? That's what I'm trying to figure out. You see, it's the expression that troubles me. When I first I saw it, I thought to myself, it was pain, but it's not, is it? It's rage. It's anger. Well, he was buried alive. Thank you, Peter. You're welcome. Yes. <laughs> Got you. Kathy! Kathy, we found him! Right in front of me the whole time now. We must call Lindsay at the hotel. And her number is where? Kathy, did you have uh, Lindsay's number in the hotel? No, forget it. You know what I've done? I put her in the cell. So we just go beep, beep, boom. What? Ah! Has Beecham seen this? No, Kathy said he went out. You sure about that? Okay, thanks, Inspector. Well, Inspector Eldred says that Jordan is so clean, he could be running a daycare. Oh, there's a scary thought. No kidding. Um, what about the children of Mathanwi? No, oh, they call themselves a religious group. No major crimes, just a few tickets for public nuisance and violation of fire bylaws. Unauthorized ritual bonfires. So who do we call here? Scotland Yard or Smokey the Bear? <laughs> oh, come on, Peter, give me a break. They didn't connect that name and that symbol by accident. Um, anything else we can learn from the not-so-dearly-departed? Well, I was able to confirm my suppositions with a virtual autopsy. You see how the spleen has been punctured? As well as the right lung? Blood soaked into the shroud when he was laid on his back. That's right. Okay, I, I buy that this came from a real person, but why wasn't he in the coffin? Where did he go? a self-proclaimed neo-pagan named Carl Jordan. It's not a crime as far as I know, sir. Murder is. 
Is he? He may have stolen the shroud. He runs a bookshop on Camden Town High Street called Mabagonian Books. Much appreciated, ma'am. Looks like an army marched through here. By candlelight. We'll keep you informed, sir. <laughs> Terribly sorry, ma'am. When I got back to the hotel last night, the service registered a hang-up from Russell around around 3 o'clock. After Kathy said he went up. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I, I'm sure she could have mistaken the time. Maybe I'm just looking for someone else to blame. Oh, uh, Lindsay. If I had made the connection sooner, if I had convinced Russell to take me seriously, what happened here had nothing to do with you. Nothing. No. I was brought up to believe that we were put on this earth for some purpose. That we were all part of God's plan. But I don't know anymore. It's natural to question one's faith at a time like this. I just can't blindly accept what goes on in this world. No, not without asking why. I wish I could make the pain go away with a kiss or a psalm, but it doesn't work like that, does it? No, it doesn't. Go home, Lindsay. Give yourself time to heal. There's only trouble left for you here. sacrifice is not exactly standard practice for modern-day witches it's got to be some kind of cult thing I want to give the police time to get their act together before we decide on our next move I'd say that'll be straight home you go ahead home I'm not leaving until whoever killed Russ has been caught I know how you feel Lindsay really <clears throat> look uh, what we came here to investigate is gone and so is the guy who contacted us I mean what's left this is personal now. Okay. Uh, it's probably important to remember that this is a police matter and we have no authority here. Well, we can help the police focus their investigation. Yeah. Any dirt on Kathy Alton? For starters, she lied to Russell. According to the Registrar at Cambridge, she has double doctorates in archaeology and human geography. So why is she working as a TA? So she could use Russell's connections to search for Ludak's grave. Are you sure about that? I knew Russell. He was a brilliant man, but he was easily manipulated. Now, if Kathy belongs to the children of Mithanwi, it all fits. And if there's some kind of Ludak cult. But if they took the shroud, why would they kill Beecham? To keep him from connecting Kathy to the cult. The ancients wrote about the forces of anarchy throwing the world into chaos. You think that's what we're dealing with? I wish I knew. I wish I knew. Atena Hoos, when? The moon will be full in two nights' time. From that night on, you will be reborn. Is everything in readiness? It is, my lord. Good. You call this wine? <laughs> 
Forgive me. Stay here. I'll run out for more. Stay. Of course. More wine. No! That manuscript Russell showed us, the one with the illustration of Ludak, do you know where it is? Russell must have taken it home. No, 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 it's priceless. He'd never do that. What difference does it make now? Kathy, whoever took the shroud killed Russell. I'm not just going to walk away from this. You really cared for him, didn't you? Of course I did. Lindsay, we both know Russell was a ladies' man to the end. You and I were merely trophies. What makes you think you can speak for both of us? Did you ever tell him about your doctorates from Cambridge? Not at first. But then he found it amusing. He thought of me as a colleague. Among other things. Look, Russell took me seriously, and thanks to him, his peers did as well. We both got what we wanted. Why pretend it were anything more? I guess you won't be picking up that black dress from the cleaners, will you? Don't judge me. Oh, I don't have to. It won't be up to me, will it? Lindsay, any news of the book? No, it's still missing. Kathy's stonewalling me. Without it, I can't research Ludak's history. I just know she's a part of this. Well, even if she is, I mean, stealing a book is a far cry from being accused of murder. Oh, Matt got a call from uh, Inspector Eldridge. Kathy has no criminal record. You know, that doesn't mean she's innocent. You know, she used Russell Anton. She needed his help, and she did what she had to to get it. Now wait. How can you be so sure? <sighs> Russell supervised my master's thesis when I went to school here. You know, there were a lot of late nights. You know, one thing led to another, and... Well, it's always bothered me. Aren't you being a little hard on yourself? He approved my thesis with almost no revisions. And when my paper was finished, I ended it. Maybe I see more of myself in Kathy than I'd like to. Look, you're both adults. And besides, a man of his academic standing would hardly hand a master's degree at Oxford as a goodbye gift. Man and beast once feared my name. That time has come again. It has, my lord. You are the chieftain we've been waiting for to herald the new age. You bore me.
Same as the other one? Heart ripped out. Does this happen often when you lot are about? More than you want to know. You search the premises for the shroud, but there's no sign of it. Probably spirited out of the country by now. Japan, I suspect. Real art buffs, those Japanese. But art theft doesn't connect the ritualistic murders. We found this, sir. That looks like an old one. This came from Beecham's. Here he is, Carl Jordan. He was in Russell's class at Oriel College. The same class Russell was teaching when he met Kathy. All the pieces fit, but what's the big picture? Whatever it is, Mr. Prager, it's not pretty. If these people have formed some sort of pagan sect, you best leave matters to the police. What if it's more than that? What if instead of a representation of Ludak in the image, it's Ludak himself? What, a ghost? No. Lindsay, the druids communed with nature, did they not? Right. They drew their power from the forces of the physical world. They were also known to merge with inanimate objects. That's part of the lore surrounding Mathanwi. He was a magician, an enchanter. Yeah, Ludek may still have followers in this day and age. He could also be a descendant of Mathanwi. And what if he could use his magic to will himself into his own death shroud? And then what? Instant psychopath? Just add incantations and stir? No. Blood. Human sacrifice. <laughs> Listen to yourselves. You're not suggesting that Ludak is walking the earth, cutting out people's hearts. We've seen stranger things, Father. Read the newspapers. There's enough darkness in the hearts of men without some unholy resurrection. I think you people came here looking for something paranormal, and you'll find it whether it's here or not. I'm not ready to reject any theory at this point, Father. Well, now, that may be your problem. <laughs> We'll be right there. They found Kathy. Best Bye. hurry. She may not make it to the hospital. Thank you. Kathy? They've done it. We know. <laughs> Did he do this to you? Us. Tonight. Stop him. Do you know where Ludak is? She's passed out. We must get her to the hospital. Stay with her calls from the hospital. Our botanist says that leaf came from a black oak. Oh, great. Oak trees grow here like weeds. How do we know she's not just jerking us around? You saw what he did to her. She's not going to lie to us. OK. Um, Kathy was found a few blocks from Jordan's shop. Yeah, and the police were already searching the area. Ludak must have had help. He didn't make his big comeback on his own. The Celts measure time based on phases of the moon, not the sun. Now, according to this, Ludak will become immortal if he bathes in the light of the full moon at Teganus, the moon of rebirth. And Kathy told us it's happening tonight. It, it's dark, so it's just a matter of hours. Okay, if Ludak wants a full fire and brimstone pep rally, he'll need space and privacy. All right, so the nearest big park is this one at the north corner of the city. It's almost out of town. No one park. Call the police. Well, you can do. I'm coming with you. Two people have had their hearts cut out. Yeah, I know. Pete, meet us at the park. You got it. We observe only. Got it. Inspector Eldridge, please. Something from the coven. We're 
first peak with those cops. The moon's almost at its peak. We need to distract them. I thought we were here to observe. I, mean, I thought I was coming here alone. Okay, the shroud. It's got to be part of the ritual. So, if we grab it, then the party's over. Okay, I'll soak around the backside of the fire. You create a distraction, and I'll get it. Why don't you create a distraction, and I'll get it? Because I can run faster. Hey, Lindsay. <laughs> I told you I was an expert. <laughs> you really know how to throw a clam bake. Case manager's final entry. Matt Prater recorded. I have to confess, Father. Father Malachi Riley has been arrested and charged for the murders. As for the man known as Ludak, his disappearance remains unsolved. The children of Mathanwi have gone underground and are being pursued by the authorities. The OSIR continues to study the dig site where the Ludak winding cloth was originally found. Its true nature remains unknown. Prager out. Office of Scientific Investigation and Research continues to investigate this case. Was Ludak merely a modern-day con artist? Another Charles Manson? A charismatic madman with a small group of cult followers? Or did the spirit of a 14th century psychopath return from beyond the grave to continue his reign of terror? Perhaps our fascination with Druid culture has its basis in some primal supernatural force we still don't understand. For Sci Factor, I'm Dan Aykroyd.